your chisel like this. See my finger? Yeah, hold it down. Good. Please. I think that we all have a commitment to do something to improve the opportunities for these kids that are at risk. If we don't, our inner city neighborhoods are destined to repeat the same thing that we've seen for the last 50 years. The program is a two-year program. They come out with their GED. They come out with a certificate in building maintenance from Broward County's schools. The name of the program, Step Up Apprenticeship Initiative. Initiative is the key. We mentor initiative, we train skills. My goal in all of this is to get him prepared, he or she prepared for industry, so that when they leave us, they have the marketable skills, so that they can um, go get a job, and like I tell them, keep the job, so that they can make some money and make you know, something better for their life. I'm Nate Jackson. I'm an investigator for the Health and Authority. Uh, I originally came over from the uh, Fort Lauderdale Police Department where I retired after 32 years in law enforcement. And many of the youth come from homes or environment where there's not that much guidance, not that much direction. My name is Latorrance Garrett and I'm the leader of the grounds crew. This is this control valve control zone one and this control valve control zone two. Well, they're finally seeing success in what they're doing. They're learning something, they're taking it into their head, and then they take it into the, into the field and they turn it into uh, a, a repair, a, a, a something that they can point their finger at and say, I did that. I can honestly say I can go out and do it for myself and, and have a career and hopefully a, a good future, you know. Other programs will go out there and give them three months of training and say, here, you can go out and get a job. But that doesn't give you a skill where you can get a good paying job. How difficult is it for someone to be accepted to this program? They, they have so many people that want to join the program, so if you do, just come and try to give it your 100, 101, 102, you know, give it your best. Hey, my name is Michael Lewis. I'm 30 years old. I came to Step Up three years and a half ago. Just got out of prison. So Step Up has been like a big step in my life. Hello, my name is Steven Brinson and I'm also a part of the Browns crew. This is what we call a prevention backflow. And the reason we call it a prevention backflow is just in case the sprinkler line have a break or something, it'll keep the water from being contaminated that goes inside of the house. The program has been like a family to you. Yeah, it's more than a family to me, man, because the background I have, man, I don't want to really be here. If you want to be a carpenter, we have experience here. If you want to be an electrician, we have the experience here. If you want to be in air conditioning, it's here. So whoever needs the opportunity, I think they should come to Step Up, man, because they give you the opportunity to turn your whole life around. It's an excellent program. It, I, the program that I'm very proud to be a part of. Those in the neighborhood who think they life over because they got felonies and this and that, life ain't over. Life don't stop because you got felonies. Life don't keep down. Everybody made mistakes. There are so many things that the Step Up program is doing for our youth here. At, uh, in Fort Lauderdale. We're taking our young men and women right out of our neighborhood and we're training them to do these things and, and you really need to see the outcome of what these guys are doing. You, you, you wouldn't believe it, you know. Our public institutions require care and maintenance. We require our walls to be painted, our tile to be laid, our drywall to be fixed. This is every public housing agency, this is every municipal government, this is every school board, every parks and recreation division in this nation. Every day on an ongoing basis carries on funded capital maintenance activities without any special program dollars. We have grass, we cut it. The idea that we could share perhaps 1% of those work opportunities with folks who are seeking to educate themselves and get a leg up. I tell them to come quick, come early, get an application so that you can at least be in the system so when it is time for people to start getting hired, you'll get a chance and you can get in the program and learn some trades, you know, and get some things under your belt. In the long run, I can look back and be like, yeah, I, I accomplished all these things. Look how far I went and I can, you know, take care of my family, 
provide for my son, you know, so he can have a good life and everything. So, I mean, it's a good accomplishment. I'm grateful. But with some guidance and some nurturing, many of them have gone on to be very productive members of society and able to support their families, which is what it's all about.